before you go in the comments and harass me and say that I look like Leafy with this little setup here, the reason I have it set up like this is because I have the camera position to where I don't want my hand to always get in front of the lens when I have to pause this video, which I'm going to be explaining in a second here. And I also removed the pop filter because it would look ridiculous having this side view and have the pop filter look all wonky and stuff and block my face completely. Today we are looking at this YouTuber. I think you all know about him. Diesel Patch has made a video talking about him. About this guy who made out with his dog. This guy's name is Dan Sullivan. I'm, I'm not even going to try to keep this private because he deserves recognition. And today we're looking at his so-called quote-unquote apology video. Spoiler alert, I've already watched the video. It's terrible. His, his claims have like no moral ground. They all fall flat basically. I just thought, you know what, why not watch this together? Yeah, I'm, I'm just basically going to be crapping on this, taking a fresh dump on this apology video. So yeah, let's get into it. What's up you guys, it's Dan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, wait, what even is that? Why are you putting a coffee straw like from the drink into your nose for your intro that's creepy i can already see this apology video going straight into hell i i'm already i'm already hating this and all you guys i am accidentally in a scandal right now and i don't even know yeah, what to do. say it literally you know was all an accident and i'm not even just saying that if you would have told me that when i uploaded that video i would have got oh yeah it's a total accident you go on YouTube, you title the video, and then you hit the upload button, and there's an option to private and public the video. Yeah, that was a total accident, right? Yeah, I totally by accidentally uploaded a video of me making out with my dog on camera. Ridiculous. The reactions that I got, I would have never uploaded the video. I'm not even kidding. There are people out there who genuinely think that I abused my dog, and people are saying that- Well. That's the thing, when you film it on camera and you're basically almost fully abusing your dog, that, that's what's gonna happen. That, yeah, people are gonna think that you're abusing your dog. That's literally what's gonna happen. You're just gonna have to deal with the way things are. And then he cries about how he didn't think that the video was gonna get so much controversy. Things can happen very fast within 24 hours of a video being posted that's very, very controversial very just macabre and terrible this is borderline bestiality and crazy crazy assumptions and i know it's crazy right guys he's just wanting to make out with his dog on camera and not have any criticism right that's that's all he wants to do First of all, I just wanted to apologize. I really do want to apologize for the people that I offended. This was not meant to be an offensive video. It was not meant to be an offensive video, really. What are you going to expect? You uploaded a video of you making out with your dog. Obviously, you're going to get criticism and people getting offended by this. This is this is a train wreck of an apology. I've seen really bad apologies out there, but this is this is the worst apology I've ever seen. So behind my head, I thought that I was just making a funny, cringy video that people would just- Oh yeah, sure, a funny, cringy video of you making out with your dog and making it look like you were really getting into it. If you're gonna make it a joke, do not make jokes like these where you're making out with other animals and it looks like you're committing bestiality, because that's literally what this is in a nutshell laugh at and be like what is this kid doing like laughing at me i didn't think no that people would be so serious and call the police and make multiple reports to the police in my town the police actually showed up to my house and were questioning me regarding this video and that is because you guys blew up their phones they told me that at the police station their phones were off the hook regarding this video and i did not know that i could cause this much controversy i was like what is once again, you didn't think you could cause this much controversy. Really, you don't think uploading a video about you making out with your dog is going to get so controversial. Wow, I'm so I'm so surprised that this video got so controversial and so many people started talking about it, you freaking idiot.
is this? And then my Instagram was getting blown up. My entire Instagram DMs right now are just blown up with hate. People telling me to kill myself. People telling me that I deserve to be in prison. Just crazy, crazy things. Like, I had people call my local animal shelter. I had people email the ASPCA. Literally, my email. Okay, people are calling the animal shelters and the ASPCA because you were literally abusing your dog, basically, is what you were doing. There was even one part in the video where the dog tried to run away and he grabbed the dog and, like, told him to stay. Ridiculous. Right now is filled with screenshots of people reporting me to the ASPCA, PETA. They showed me screenshots of them reporting me to the police station. Like, just crazy, crazy stuff all from this video. And I genuinely did not think that me uploading that video would get this much backlash. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and be Really? Okay, wow. So you're surprised that the video got so much backlash. And then again, he also talks about how he's not going to lie and say how surprised he is because he's not surprised apparently. No, you basically lied and dug a hole. Like, oh my god, I had no idea that this would cause drama. Like, I obviously knew. You obviously knew, then why did you bring it up twice already? If you already knew this, why why did you bring this up twice? This is this is a train wreck. This is a terrible apology video, I'm telling you. I mean, I thought Rice Gum's apology video was bad. This is awful. This is way worse without a doubt by titling it making out with my dog and then going like that and I wasn't even yeah, biting his weird. ear like people were like oh my gosh that's an animal abuse you were biting his ear you were hurting him I was oh, the worst that was the worst thing that I did in that video was biting his ear and I wasn't even really just because you said that you put your mouth like your lips back over your teeth like this people are not going to really believe that because the camera was like sitting on a shelf basically from a distance when he did it and it was in full view of his bed. You are not going to tell unless you download the video, go through an editor and then just zoom in the picture. No one's going to actually put their time into that. Biting his ear. I literally got my mouth and folded my mouth over my teeth so it wouldn't hurt him. Like I, well, I didn't even do anything. Like I literally just put his ear in my mouth and I was like... I was not biting him. It did not hurt him. My dog is very furry and my dog sheds so much. So you guys need to go back and rewatch that video, please. And you'll see that I was, wasn't was licking him. Like I was fake licking my dog because if I- You were fake licking your dog. I watched the video. It didn't look fake to me. It looked pretty darn realistic. Like you were actually getting into it. And that's weird when you get into that kind of stuff, dude. I licked my dog, my mouth would have got full of fur and I wouldn't be able to talk in the video. I would be coughing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was going like, eh. And the camera angles that I had made it look like I was licking him and made it look like 10 times worse than everything that people are saying. And I'm like, whoa. People were saying his dog. This feels like I'm watching Lily Sings make an apology video. He's like, like, oh my gosh, guys. Oh my God, this is like so crazy. And basically just says how he edited the video and saying it looks 10 times as worse on camera than it would be if you were actually at his house virtually watching it almost through a virtual mirror. No, no, it would not. It would still look really bad. What if you're, if you even have a girlfriend, what do you, what do you think her thoughts would be if she walked in and saw you doing that? Yeah, she's definitely gonna dump you right there on the spot. And I'd be glad to see that happen right in front of your eyes and watch your life change. Didn't consent, his dog tried to run. Two minutes into the video when my dog ran away, he did run away and I cut the video. When it cuts to the end of me laying on the bed and going like, as you could see in the beginning of the video, that was all filmed beforehand and then- I Oh yeah, sure. We're gonna take your word for it after you literally uploaded a video making out with your dog. No one's gonna take your word for it. You uploaded a video making out with your dog. No one's going to believe what you have to say. There's no screenshots. There's nothing to back up his evidence. He's just spewing random BS that he's expecting his viewers to 
believe, somewhat believe. He only has like 18K subscribers, and I don't think any of those are even real subscribers. They're probably just sub bots. I went to go look at the footage, and I didn't like the angle. So that was all before. When my dog ran away, he was gone, and as soon as I shut the camera off, I went downstairs and gave him like 10 treats. Like, I do not abuse my dog. My dog lives the best life. He literally eats chicken, steak, shrimp. Like, he eats all of the best stuff for dinner. Like, we treat our dog like we treat everybody else in our family. Like, he's a human being. He doesn't get treated like a dog. Doesn't. Okay, wait a minute. So, you're treating your dog like a human being. Does this mean that you're feeding him people food that probably shouldn't even be fed? Have you fed him chocolate, eh? Ha have you learned about that yet? Can you at least elaborate on that? That you're treating him like a somewhat human being? You're a human being by making out with the dog. Sure, that's that's really human being. Like, I totally believe everything you're saying. Go outside at, for hours on end. Doesn't get locked in a cage at night. My dog is in a great home, and we really love our dog. He means so much to us, and we do not abuse him. And I'm sorry for those who think that we abuse him for that video. Like, like when I uploaded that video, I thought the comments are gonna be like, what is he doing? Like, he's a weirdo. Like, I Once again, he's going back and saying how surprised that the backlash was, even though he elaborated on that. Basically said that he wasn't gonna try to act like all surprised, learn your dictionary, and learn how to not be a hypocrite more often. I thought people were gonna be making fun of me, not saying that I'm abusing my dog and that my dog lives in an abusive household, trying to get PETA involved, trying to get the ASPCA to take my dog away, like, what? What I think should happen is if his family is actually sane enough to watch the video, then they need to go to his house, they need to have a long, long talk with him about this, and they need to take his dog. They can take care of him and raise him like a normal dog. It's just so disgusting. I don't know how. That dog needs a new home. That's what it needs. It needs a new home. I didn't abuse my dog. I love my dog so much. I would literally die for my dog. He means so much to me. And I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely am so sorry for those who think that and for those who got offended with me. And there were people who were loyal to me who were like, yo, this was a lot. And I'm sorry if you guys thought that. Like, I really am. Yeah, sure. That one person who probably thought that is probably you on an alt account. How are we going to trust this? So sorry. Like, I'm sorry that you guys felt that way. I'm sorry that you felt that I was being disrespectful and abusing my dog and just... I don't know, I just don't want- An apology isn't going to cut it. If you were really sorry, you'd take down the YouTube video and it wouldn't be up. I'm also blaming Susan for this too because she hasn't even taken it down. And she's like almost like the CEO of the algorithm here. She also could be helping out and she's not. I want to disappoint people. Like I literally just want to be laughed at. Like I want people to laugh at these videos, not get annoyed. Watching you make out with your dog is not funny. It never will be funny. And even if you do think it's funny, then there's something seriously wrong with you. I even left a comment telling him that he has mental issues and he needs to actually get some help because he really does. And I also left some other comment talking about his apology video prior to making this. He obviously, he just doesn't care. He's ignoring people at this point and is not even hearting their comments at this point. He did on the video where he made out with his dog, but that was it. That, that was all he left. That was it. He just left hearts and I don't think he even replied and get really offended and want to get me locked up. Like, people are trying to get me in jail regarding up. this video. And I'm like, whoa, that's a lot. So, I am so sorry. I really- Yeah, whoa, guys. That's a lot for me to handle after I just uploaded a video having sex with my dog. Ridiculous. Really, really, really am. I was trending all over Reddit for the past, like, three days. Ever since, like, two days after I uploaded that video, people were sending me screenshots. Truly, truly, truly did not think that this video would amount to the number of backlash that I got. And I'm so confused. He's such a hypocrite. He says that he's trying not to act all surprised. Well, here he is acting all surprised. Wow. Wow. You're, you're really doing... You're doing a real good thing for the community. I'm proud of you. Unbelievable. And I am genuinely so sorry. I do not abuse my dog. I love my dog. And I hope you guys can understand that. 
I love you guys so much. Those of you who were in my DMs, there were a lot of people in my DMs. Like, I would say for every 20 people hating on me, there was, like, one person. Like, yo, I love your videos. You're funny. I understand. Once again, that person in your DMs was probably a literal alt account that you made or a bot that you created to just say that, oh, it's okay. We all mess up sometimes. This is a big mistake, and you're going to have to recuperate from this, and it's going to take a lot. And if you're really genuinely sorry, you're going to remove the video off of YouTube. Or you're just going to sit there like a little impatient moron and just let the algorithm get rid of it. Unbelievable. So basically, he just goes on saying he's so sorry about what happened. And just goes on talking about how people are supporting him in his DMs and people are hating on him. That's basically the logistics of this video. If you want to watch it yourself, I'll have a link in the description. That's really all my opinions are about this. And, uh, David, if you're watching this, please actually get some help. That's it, guys. See you all later.